In this video, we're gonna talk about setting up the email configuration on the RichTech AATSS version two. So I've already logged in to the back end. If you don't know how to do this, please look at the video where we're covering the initial setup. And here we're gonna to go to remote settings and go to email config. This will open these up. The first thing you wanna do is make sure you enable it to expose the settings. Once these are exposed, you wanna set up the encryption. So depending on your email server, whatever you're running, go ahead and select the appropriate one. You're gonna specify its port number for SMTP and its server as well. Once those are in place, go ahead and add the email account and its password to how you would log into that server. Once those are done, go ahead and add the recipient email. You can add up to three here. You can also set up a subject and I'd recommend that you add something more specific, say for example, alarm, lobby, device one. That way you can identify which alarm is triggering. These by default are enabled and set to one minute. Those are okay to accept. However, you can change the settings for your snap intervals. I'm gonna go ahead and click save here. Make sure that you click save first before doing the test. There's a little reminder underneath it just in case. And then go ahead and test and you're expecting the alert to say test successful if everything has been configured correctly. And in this case, you can see it is successful. This will send you a test email. The test email is very simple. It basically just prompts you and shows you what takes a picture of where you currently are at, prompts you that there's been a trigger set up, and it gives you some device information in this case. Um, again, this is just a simple test of the alert. Uh, the actual alerts include your temperature reading, face mask on, off. Um, those are much more detailed. And this is how you set up the email configuration here on the device. The next part is actually enabling the alarm to trigger for the email. So we're gonna go back and go into the temperature monitoring setting here under smart configuration. And you're gonna go ahead and check off the send email alarm for abnormal temperature. Again, this is where you're gonna be detecting that. And this will allow you to actually trigger that the uh, SMTP server we set up with the email that there's been an abnormal temperature detected. You want to trigger the alarm. This is where that's done. And of course, if you have any difficulty setting this up, please let us know. We are happy to help here.